A violent night in Wilmington, Delaware ends with the deaths of five people in three deadly shootings. Two were just blocks away from each other. One shooting victim who survived, only 12. The mayor and residents say they're heartbroken. Alicia Reed is at Wilmington Police Headquarters with the very latest on the investigation. Alicia, good evening. Good evening, Yuki. It's been relatively quiet for police in Wilmington here today. After a night of terror, eight people shot, five of them now dead. Last night was just brutal. A small memorial now sits on the 1100 block of West 2nd Street where a quadruple shooting left three people dead. But it hurts. It really hurts. I mean, I, I woke up early this morning and uh, did the tally, and it was really a heartbreak for me. Police say a 32 year old man shot and killed two women a 30 year old and a 19 year old. A 12 year old girl was also shot but survived. She was rushed to St. Francis Hospital, where she's currently listed in stable condition. Maybe can, we can ameliorate some of the tragic pain that that child's gone through. Authorities tell us after shooting the victims in this domestic incident, the man barricaded himself in a nearby building before turning the gun on himself. It hurts that you think that people had such despair that that's the, that's the only solution to dealing with their pain and frustration. At the time of the quadruple shooting, police were already busy a half mile away, processing a separate scene at 6th and Monroe Streets where two men were shot. Well, when I got the phone call, like, I literally broke. Authorities say a 32-year-old man who friends identify as Kevin Thompson died at the hospital. The second man went to the hospital on his own. He is listed in stable condition. Kevin was a, a lovable gentleman. He was a sweetheart. The second man is expected to survive. Another double shooting in the area left a 28-year-old man dead and another in the hospital. Now, all three incidents are still being investigated. If you have any information that can help, you are urged to call authorities. Reporting live from Wilmington, Delaware, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you for that update.